Hey there guys, what is up, Loot Games, and today we're playing Terraria 3D Edition. What did I say last episode, guys? What did I say? I said, we haven't got the Goblin Army yet. What do we get as soon as I come on? The Goblin Army. I could not believe that. That's actually outstanding me. Like, I've literally just loaded on my game, and we've got the Goblin Army. Like, straight up, no warning, no nothing, just the Goblin Army, which is crazy. I don't know how we got it. They they've been destroying my doors. I hate, that's one thing that I hate about the Goblin Army. They destroy your doors. They destroy everything you have, which you can have so many belongings and they will just literally just take it all and destroy it. That That's what they do. That's their job. They destroy your house. And I hate it because they kill your NPCs as well. These are so annoying NPCs. Look, he's killing Johnny. Stop killing Johnny. What do you think you're doing? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, you'll learn a lesson. Come around these parts, fighting me. Tell you now, these Goblin Army, they're, they're, they're ruthless. They just, they don't know when to stop. They just destroy your house. They take all your money. They just, they just steal all your clothes, steal all your weapons, everything. Just take everything. And this is why we need to eliminate the Goblin Army. We need to kill it. And we just got to curse stuff in. Ooh, that's going to be interesting. I'm in pre-hard mode, so, I mean, it'd be quite hard. It's going to be a fun battle if we do kill it, but... Hmm. It will provide us with a horn of plenty, though, which will allow us to be pretty much, well, not invincible. We're not going to say invincible, but it'll allow us to basically use something unlimited times. We've got another curse stuff in there. We do, however, need to actually. We've got a gold. We can buy. Uh, we can buy the pet. I was going to say we need to buy the goblin pet. Uh, goblin pet. The uh, turkey pet, that's what it is. The turkey pet, not the goblin pet. We do need to buy the turkey pet, but we can do that no problem. This is going to be no problem. I need to trash some of the stuff that I've got in my inventory in a chest, though, so that we can sort of pick things up, which I'm, I can't do at the minute because I've got a full inventory. And, yeah, once I've done that, though, should be good. Come on, goblin army, where are you hiding? Where are you at? Destroying all my doors, just literally everything's gone. Everything. They've taken everything. Destroy my doors, destroy my walls. Oh, the angler was slain. No way. Oh, well, another one will spawn back into the uh, ocean by him. But we need to travel all the way back onto the ocean to actually get to him to be able to do that. So we've got Goblin Fifius down. How many more of these guys are there? It just feels like I've been doing this forever now. Even though I've only just been, just started it pretty much. It just feels like I've been doing it forever. Well, I've been doing the event for about two minutes. So that's probably why it feels like there's another stuff in there we got. Lovely. I mean, at least we're going to be able to fight a few uh, Turk or the Ingratefuls. It's one good thing. But they are killing all my NPCs, which is bad. There's another one, the mechanic now. Go away, please. The Goblin Army is defeated, so why are you not defeated? Say, go away. We don't need your, your kind around here. Oh, God. So, it looks like we've got a load of doors that we need to put back down because the Goblin Army just tore through them. I can still hear the music. Can this music just go away? I don't want to fight no more goblins. Go away, goblins. Go. Ah, there we go. It's gone now. Good. I know you can't hear the music very well as well, guys. It's because uh, the, the addition that I'm on is 3DS. And I have no way of getting the audio from 3DS. I was just thinking, that, is it Android? 3DS? What are we What are we playing right now? Yeah, we are, we are playing that. But there we go. Let's put these acorns down. We've got a ton of acorns that we're going to shove down. Hopefully, they go into massive trees and we get loads of wood so that we can build endless amounts of things. Then we can start doing pixel arts, which is pretty cool. But I don't want to do it all out of wood. That would suck. I like to be creative. Use a few different blocks. It's, it's nice to use different blocks. We've got a load of spiky balls. We can throw those beauties. There we go. Look at that. For some reason, I thought we got damaged by our own spiky balls then. I don't know why I thought that, and I thought that was actually an enemy slime that I was trying to kill, and it was it was my own little pet slime. <laughs> right, let's uh, go grab a few chests then, so that we can shove a load of stuff in them. We can press X. My inventory is full. Okay, cool. What we'll do is we'll just shove these in there, and withdraw one of these. It's so confusing sometimes. Like I get really confused by it. I don't know why. I just do. Righty then. What we're going to do is we're going to shove two chests here and then just use them and deposit all of the stuff in there. So, things we do not need. Silver Greaves. Go. Uh, 
background walls for now. We don't need them, so we're going to put them away as well. We don't need dirt. We don't need mushrooms. Uh, what else is there? Hmm. To be fair, we could make the meteorite. Yeah, that's what I need to do. I still need to make my meteorite into bars. Haven't I? How have I not done that yet? Right, let's go to our thing here. Crafting table and let's go to our furnace. There we go. Wrong thing, that one. Yep, that's the one. And there we go. We're going to craft all these into bars. 39 bars. Wow, that was from one meteorite as well. One that landed. So that's crazy. We could probably make full meteorite if we can get another meteorite to land. But then we need to maybe make the space gun. I'm not too sure. Like, the space gun's only good if you've got the meteorite armor, though. Because you get, like, unlimited bullets with it. But without the meteorite armor, then it's not as good at all, really. So, now we've got rid of those pesky goblins, anyway. We can go ahead and go wherever we wish today. Because I do want to try and get those last few heart crystals. I mean, we've got to... Like, why we, why we put fallen stars in there? Why didn't we just make them into... I question myself sometimes because I could have just made them straight into... Wait, do we even need a crafting table? That's, that's the question. Do we need a crafting table to be able to make the stars? Yes, it does look like we do. So let's go to the crafting table and make one of those then. Crafting table and... Oh. We don't need them, no. We don't even need a workstation. It, it, does, it says in the top left... Hang on. It only takes three fallen stars. Have there always five fallen stars to get a mana... Have I been just doing this wrong all along? Or am I just a derp or something? Probably probably both, but <laughs> it doesn't matter. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go to our inventory. No, we're not. We're going to use that. Then the fall at the start, the, they should be here somewhere. Apparently not. Uh, they're in my inventory anyway. I'll be able to grab them. There we go. Right, and if we now go into here, they should be there. Still not there? No, of course they're not. So let's get in our main inventory then. Yeah, one, two, three. And that means now we can use the Book of Skulls without an issue. It does take one and a quarter st uh, stars. So we should be able to use it three times before it totally depletes. Yeah, three times. It does a lot of damage. Like I say, it doesn't bounce around. But it's a very, very strong weapon. It did help me kill the Wall of Flesh. I did kill the Wall of Flesh with this in my Android edition. Very, very powerful weapon. Uh, don't underestimate it. Just don't underestimate it. I know it's uh, quite an early weapon on in the game, but just don't underestimate it. Really, don't. It's good. Right. So, we can hold our own out in here because we've got the Star Fury, but is there anything worth exploring? That's uh, my question. We've got the Dungeon Temple there. We've got some weird thing there. What's that? What actually is that, guys? I want to go. I want to go find what that is. Right, it's right below us. It looks like if we do make our way this way, it should be right below us. So yeah, that'd be good. But I don't know. I actually don't know what that is. I'm really curious if that's like the underworld or something, or who knows. Right, we're gonna use our Deathbringer pickaxe and just mine straight down because we haven't actually explored this area anyway. So it'd be nice to you know open a bit up and hopefully we'll go down there and just explore a bit. Just hoping things don't come down with me. Sorry if you can't see very well either. I've not got a, a source of light yet, which I hope to get one soon. But I will eventually put some torches down, which I don't have on me. <laughs> I should really put these down, shouldn't I? Sorry if you just heard a knock sound as well. My mic just moved. There we go. Right. Torch down. Let's keep going. We need to get rid of this water on the way as well if we can. The reason I say that is because we're going to drown if we don't. We're getting ores and all sorts in our way. So we do need to make our way down and just hope there's like a hole or something. There we go. Lovely. Right now we need to light the area up again. Beautiful. And let's keep making our way downtown. Walking fast. Whatever the song says. <laughs> I forgot the song already. Got tin all there. Tin is really hard to mine for some reason with this. You can sort of see anyway. I can, I can sort of see it if when I'm looking at a big screen. I can imagine on a small screen, this would be quite hard to see. So that's why I'm uh, saying that. Sorry if you can't see a light source or anything. We've got lead in our way now. A lot of lead. A lot of lead. 
Oh god. Oh god. There we go. Just about just about lived there. Whew. There we go. Just gotta get real lucky in those places. We're gonna grab all this lead for no reason whatsoever. There's no, there's no use for it. I don't think we're gonna ever use it for anything. Seeing as we've got crimson armor, we've got um, we could make a lead. Mm, we're gonna really want to make a lead hammer though. What's the point of a lead hammer when pretty much the wood hammer could do anything a lead one can? It doesn't do anything faster, I don't think. It might mine might a bit faster, like if you're using blocks, but it's not really a thing that's used, to be honest. We've got to be close now. We've mined so far down, like honestly, we have. We've got dragon hornets now, so we've got to just be real careful. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at my map quickly, and we need to get a let's get a weapon out so that we don't die. Lovely. Uh, what am I looking for then? We're looking for that really weird thing. We're almost there. We're, if we keep on in the same direction as we're going, we should be there. No no problem. I just want to see what it is. I'm more curious to see what it is than anything. Right. There we go. Just got to be real careful. Like, like I say, it's quite annoying. The only annoying part about this edition is the fact that you need to keep swapping over every second. Like, now, I haven't got my... Uh, what it called torches out. So what I have to do is swap there, swap that. But then if I need to swap something, oh, it's just, uh, it's just annoying. Okay, <laughs> but this edition has so many like positives. It's got, I think it's got more positives to outweigh the negatives. I mean, like I say, the clicks and stuff like that. It's quite hard to keep up with. And if you're fighting bosses, I can imagine if you fight like Plantera for the first time or something, it would be quite hard. But it's something to work on. I'm gonna put a torch down so you guys can see again. There we go, lovely. Right, uh, let's get the Deathbringer pickaxe back out. And we're going to float up to get that back. And then we're going to make our way down. We're almost there anyway. I'm just really curious to see what this is. This thing down here. I don't know if it's the underworld or if it's just generally something, some sort of shrine or something I've not explored yet. But be nice to see what it is anyway. Got lead all there. I think that's going to be an opening there. Hopefully, it, no, it's mud. Is there any openings here? Right, well, I'm going to have to make my own opening before I totally kill myself. Oh, that was so close. Oh, my God. That was so, so close. Let's get the map up. If we keep making our way down, we, we're going in the wrong, right direction. So I'm hoping to make, make it there soon. Here we go. That heals a bit of my life. Lovely. Just want to keep the world map on so that I can see where I'm going. It's sort of it's going to go to an open area now anyway, so it's good. A lot of cobwebs. Sorry if you can't see again. Let's just make our way down as fast as we can. I'm going to go to the right because there's a lot of open area that way. There we go. Look at that. Lovely. Uh, I'm going to put some torches down. There we go. Lovely. We are making our way now. We're almost there to get to this mysterious thing. It looks like the underworld. That's what it looks like. But if it is or isn't, I don't know. It is. It's the underworld. I've just realized. I've just realized it now. It's definitely 100% the underworld. It's just because it's so close up that I didn't actually recognize it to be the underworld. But it is. That's... uh. Definitely what it is. Well, so I can mine through those then. I can also mine a bed. I'm going to mine the bed. We're going to take the bed. We're going to trash some of the stuff that we don't need. Such as... Hmm. We haven't deposited all of our stuff. That... Yeah. That's what's happened. I thought I already had, but I haven't. Like, I thought I deposited it all before we come out, but I just deposited the wood, didn't I? <laughs> That's the only thing I deposited. That's why I've got so much, uh... What's that? What actually is that? Is that the flying bats? Oh, God. Oh, God, it is. I didn't think it was lava, but it is. I thought it was, like, you know, the little bits that you get? Right, so we do have a shadow chest there, which has a good chance of getting a Drax as well, which is good. But now my curiosity is 
like cured. I just wondered what it was. How bats are so weak? Weak. Weaklings. Got any more shadow chests along here as well? Okay, maybe, maybe not in a group. When they're in a group, they are very, very strong. Okay. Ooh, we're gonna... Ooh. We're out of that place. We are out of that place. Oh, that place was dangerous. Very dangerous. So let's uh, put some more stuff in our chest then. We don't want that. Let's make our way to the empty chest and put some stuff in there. Because we're getting a load of stuff. And it's because I like to mine a lot. I just mine so much. We don't want you. We, we don't want you, okay? We want the, the chest, not you. Okay. There we go. So we're going to pause it. We don't need that for now. We don't need that for now. We don't need that. We don't need that for now. We don't need that, 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 that. There's so much stuff we don't need. Right. Um, mm, we can use that, actually. Lovely. Beautiful. Deposit this. Deposit this. This. This, this, this. is So much to deposit. And it goes crazy. There we go. Lovely. Absolutely beautiful. So there we go. We have... Definitely had a great episode today. I want to do some building. That's what I really want to do. I want to want to be creative with my buildings. So what we're going to do is we're going to depo uh, deposit. We're going to withdraw all of our wood. And then with that wood, we're going to build the biggest thing you've ever... No, we're not. We're not. Really not. <laughs> we're going to build a little bit anyway. Uh, let's put the bed down. So now I have a bed to sleep in. Lovely. I got a sp I've actually got a spawn point now, guys. And we got a bookcase. We can put that down there. Lovely. So it's definitely coming along nicely. I've got to admit, it is coming along very, very nicely. And we're just going to... Hmm, I don't know what to do here now. Because we've sort of gone up and down and around and shake it all about and do the okie okie and turn around. So I'm not sure what to... To build here, it's, it's quite hard to, to think, shall I go outwards, inwards? Should I keep it, should keep the shape, or... Ugh, there's so many different options you could choose. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go with this. Right, what we're going to do is we're going to do that. We're going to do that. But then, it's going to have a dip, and then it goes across. There we go, look at that. That's that's definitely creative, guys. 10 out of 10. Who's ever had this idea before? Nobody. I'm the sole creator of this design, okay? No one has ever built such such a magnificent thing in their entire lifetime. <laughs> okay, they have. I'm just being a derp. Right, there we go. Put a light source there. A uh, light source up there. And then we can mine it away. Two, three. And then if we grab this wood... And do this. Look at that. Look at that. It's coming along nicely. Um, and then if we do go into our inventory, make two crafting tables. We're going to make normal ones this time. Just because I feel adventurous. I feel totally 10 out of 10 adventurous. Not just going the easy route. Route? 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 What am I talking about? Route or route? If you're American, it's route, I think. Uh, English, we say route. Same thing. Anyway, um, into the doors. Let's get right into the doors. Doors, doors, doors. Craft, craft. And two... No, no, no. Tip. Da, chairs. I was going to call them two tables then. I was like, two ta... No, they're not tables. Chairs. <laughs> uh, there we go. Right, and then we've got those sorted. And now we need the chairs. There we go. So it looks like all of the craftable stuff comes up on the right-hand side. Not like weapons or anything, but like more like bars and ores and stuff. So that's a very good thing for building. It, it really does help out with building a lot. So then we're going to just place all these down. We're going to place all of them most likely. We're going to have to make more because I don't think this is going to be enough to fill up this entire area. As you can see, I could, I've already used about 70. So I'm definitely going to need more. Maybe I might just be able to fit it in. Who knows? I might just be able to squeeze it in. Do you reckon? What do you reckon, guys? Do you think I'll be able to squeeze it in? No. <laughs> I need to make more. 
Right, uh, off to our inventory then, and I think it was these ones, wasn't it? As far as I know, it was these ones anyway. That should definitely be enough. So now let's uh, smash all these down then. Boom. And they should be houses that they can live in. Weird if they're not. If they're not, that's just totally weird. Pretty sure NPCs should be moving in by now. I don't know anyway. But that's two more houses we've got to our build. And maybe we could build it outwards from here. Maybe have like a bridge going across and having a building here. That's a good idea, isn't it? Having like a building going across. I reckon that's quite a creative idea. Anyway, guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this Terraria 3DS edition series. If you like this series, please do leave a thumbs up. It really does help. And let me know in the comment section if you want to see this next week. Or if you want to see Android edition next week. Because I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do Android one week. And then do like 3DS the other week. So it's sort of going to rotate. But anyway, guys, I'll catch you in the next episode. Please leave a like and subscribe. Stay frosty and peace. Remember, eat chicken.